If you want your vehicle to last a long time, should you go ahead and spend a few extra dollars on the air filter? Now, obviously, if you want your vehicle to perform well, having an air filter that allows plenty of air to get into the engine is very important, and also you want that air to be clean. We're going to be testing both of those things today on six different brands to see if it really makes that much of a difference. Is that $50 air filter doing just as good or better than the $10 air filter? Let's get the testing underway and see which brand is the best. We'll see which air filter provides the best airflow when it's new. We'll see if air filter brands have any impact on 0 to 60 acceleration times. We'll see which air filters do the best at filtering out contaminants. In order to test car air filters, I built this air filter test stand. The air filter is mounted at the very top of the test stand. The air filter cover is encased in plexiglass so that contamination can easily be added to the top of the air filter. Air will move down and pass through an observation box that is encased in plexiglass. The air then travels into a 6 inch pipe. As air passes through the pipe, we'll be measuring both the velocity of the air as well as the static pressure. More about that later. At the very end of the tester is an electric fan motor. In our first test, we'll measure the airspeed through the tester using each filter. Additionally, we'll be using a manometer to measure static pressure. So what is static pressure? Simply put, it's the resistance to airflow. It seems to make sense that an air filter which allows easier and faster airflow will allow the engine to make more horsepower compared to an air filter that is more restrictive. Let's establish our baseline airflow rate and static pressure by first running the test stand without a filter in place. The gauge on the left shows the speed of the air and it's moving on average at 59.4 miles per hour. The gauge on the the right is showing static pressure, which is the resistance to flow from the 12 by 12 inch box into the 6 inch diameter pipe. Static pressure is measured in inches of water column, and the static pressure is just under 1 inch of water column. The air filter we'll be testing is for a 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. It also fits many other makes and models, so we'll be using this filter for the testing. At a price of only $8.87, the least expensive air filter we'll be testing is this EP Auto Extra Guard Panel Air Filter. It claims to deliver outstanding protection. Helps improve performance, improve fuel mileage, protect against dirt, change every 12,000 miles. Made in China. I counted all the pleats of the filter media and there are a total of 80. The EP Auto also has a couple layers of adhesive going from top to bottom of this filter in order to keep these pleats separated. The filter weighs right at 507 grams. The wire mesh on the inside of the filter seems quite durable. The EP Auto had an average static pressure of 2.76 and an air speed of 54.7 miles per hour. So the EP Auto air filter is definitely slowing down the air. At a price of $12.47, this Fram Extra Guard filter is the second least expensive filter we'll be testing. It claims to offer twice the engine protection. It claims to be a 12,000 mile air filter. Placing a clogged air filter can lead to increased horsepower and increased acceleration. Engine protection is the Fram measure of a filter's ability to trap dirt particles and keep them from entering into your engine. Fram air filters let through two times less dirt than the average leading standard retail brands. We're going to test that. Made in Mexico. The EP Auto had two layers of adhesive from top to bottom and the Fram air filter has three. The EP Auto filter had 80 pleats but the Fram has 76. The wire mesh on the Fram as well as the EP Auto look very similar but the hole size on the Fram is a little bit larger than the EP Auto. EP Auto weighed 507 grams, the Fram is only 441 grams, a lot lighter. The Fram had a slightly lower static pressure than the EP Auto of 2.75 and an air speed slightly higher at 54.9 miles per hour. So the Fram takes the lead from EP Auto. At $16.23, the AC Delco is the third least expensive filter we'll be testing. It does cost twice as much as the EP Auto. AC Delco Local filters deliver longer engine life, smoother performance. Made in USA. Three different applications of adhesive on the front of the filter. The AC Delco filter has 76 pleats. The wire mesh on the AC Delco is offset in three different areas to allow a gap between the mesh and the filter media. Okay, 577 grams, by far the heaviest filter we've tested yet. The AC Delco had a slightly higher static pressure of 3.03 .03 and a lower air speed than the Fram. So the Fram is still in the lead. At $21.59, the Pure Later 1 is the fourth most expensive filter we'll be testing. Defend your engine. Pure Later 1 air filter has trapped 99% of harmful contaminants. A clogged air filter decreases throttle power and can wear down your engine. By replacing your old dirty air filter, you can improve acceleration by up to 11% and optimize your engine's performance. An American brand since 1923. Made in USA. Two different lines of adhesive on the Pure Later 1 filter. What's also interesting, it looks like part of the filter media has been pressed in. The wire mesh on the Pure Later 1 filter looks very similar to the EP Auto as well as the Fram filter. 
Pure Later 1 only weighs 451 grams, which is slightly more than the Fram filter. The Pure Later 1 has 75 layers of filter media. The Pure Later 1 had a higher static pressure of 3.09 compared to 2.76 for the EP Auto and a slower airspeed than the Fram of 54.6. So the Fram holds on to the lead. At $22.12, the Wix filter is the fifth most expensive filter we'll be testing. Quality filtration since 1939. Made in USA. Unlike the other brands, Wix did not apply any sort of adhesive on the filter media. There are four different areas on this wire mesh that extend outward from the filter media. Wow, at 413 grams, the Wix is definitely the lightest air filter. The Wix filter also has the least number of pleats at 72. Of all the filters tested, the Wix had the highest static pressure of 4.07 and the lowest airspeed of 52.1. At $44.19, this K&M air filter is more than twice as expensive as the competition. High airflow filter, designed to increase horsepower and acceleration. Washable, reusable, lifetime product. The original cotton high flow air filter invented by K&M reduces air filter restriction, allowing an engine to breathe easier than traditional paper air filters. Using a K&M air filter can actually increase horsepower and acceleration acceleration in many vehicles. k &M claims we're tough on dirt. Thousands of microscopic cotton threads absorb our specially formulated oil to create a powerful filtering medium. Most of the paper air filters need to change out every 12 months or 12,000 miles, but not the k &M. It's good for 50,000 miles. Made in USA. Right out of the packaging, this filter is very oily. The k &M filter has 32 layers. Obviously, this has quite a bit different design. It has a wire mesh that's actually part of the filter media. 516 grams. So can the most expensive filter, the K&M, which is known for high performance, beat the competition? The K&M did an amazing job with the lowest static pressure of all the brands at 1.72 and the highest airspeed of 57.39 miles per hour. I find it very interesting that there's a negative correlation between price and the number of filter pleats. More specifically, the more expensive filters actually have less filter pleats than the budget filters. Having more filter pleats would seem to offer more filter surface area. Using no air filter as our control, which had a static pressure of 0.96, k and did a far better job than the competition at 1.72, which is over a full inch of water column better than the Fram and EP Auto. So the question is, will the filters with lower static pressure actually do just as good at filtering out contamination? We're about to find out. Up next, let's see how each of the air filter brands perform in a timed 0-60 run in the 2003 Suburban using each air filter for two timed runs. We'll go with the fastest of the two timed runs. The EP Auto made it to 60 and 9.4 seconds in the first run and 9.4 Four seconds in the second run. The Fram had a slightly better static pressure and airspeed on the test stand. Let's see if it can do a little better. The time was nearly identical but slightly slower at 9.5 on the first and second test. So the EP Auto with 9.4 seconds is the time to beat. The AC Delco seemed slightly more restrictive on the test stand than the EP Auto, but it matched the best time of 9.4 seconds on the first run and was slightly slower at 9.6 seconds on the second attempt. The Pure Later was a very restrictive filter and the first time was 9.8 seconds, which seemed a little slower than it should have been. However, it did much better on the second run at 9.4 seconds, matching the fastest time yet. The Wix filter matched the best time of 9.4 seconds on the first attempt and actually did the best yet at 9.3 on the second attempt. The Canon made it to 60 and 9.3 seconds on the first attempt, and the fastest time yet of 9.2 seconds on the second attempt. So the KM definitely outperformed the competition. Comparing the best 0 to 60 times of the two attempts, the KM filter did outperform the competition with the fastest time of 9.2 seconds. However, the most restrictive filter, the Wix, along with the other brands, were very close behind. So if you're trying to shave off a fraction of a second, the KM might help compared to the other, more restrictive paper filters. But if you're concerned about air filter actually removing the bad stuff that goes into the engine, you might be interested in the next test. In the next test, I'll be placing a particle counter inside the air box. The number on the left side of the screen indicates the number of particles between 1 and 5 microns in size. The number on the right indicates the number of particles at 5 microns or larger. Most car air filters are designed to filter out particles that are around 5 microns. Once the test filter is in place, the 3 minute test will begin. I'll begin by spreading 1 half cup of all purpose flour across the filter and we'll keep an eye on the particle counter to see how much flour passes through the air filter. Around the 1 minute mark, I'll power up the electric motor for about a half a second. This pulse of air will pull some of the contamination through the filter and we'll keep track of the maximum number 
number of particles. Around the two minute mark, we'll power up the blower motor for an entire minute and we'll look at the particle counter and static pressure. We'll begin with the EP Auto, which already had a count of 84 small and two large particles inside of the test box. After subtracting out the 84 small and the two large particles already inside of the test box, the small particle count increased by 107 small and 76 large particles. After the one minute mark, the blower motor was powered up for a half a second, which caused the particle count to increase. After subtracting out the original 84 particles inside of the test box, the particle count peaked at 165 small and 61 large particles. At the two minute mark, the electric blower motor was powered up for a full minute. The small particle count increased to 587 and the large particles peaked at 26. The static pressure of the new filter was at 2.76 and increased to approximately 3.4 from the half cup of contamination. Fram claims to provide twice the protection compared to the competition. So does it? Subtracting out the 129 particles already inside the test chamber, the Fram peaked at 173 small and 126 large particles, which is quite a bit more than the EP Auto. After the air pulse, after subtracting out the original small and large particles that were already inside the air box, the small particle count increased to 361 and the large 252. So compared to the less expensive EP Auto, the Fram had more than twice as many small particles and four times as many large particles. Not good. During the one minute continuous airflow test, the numbers peaked at 697 small particles and 166 large. The new Fram filter had a static pressure of 2.75 and increased to 3.82. So the EP Auto seems to have done a far better job than the Fram. The AC Delco peaked at 76 small particles and 58 large particles during the first minute, which is better than both the EP Auto and the Fram. After the air pulse, it increased to 326 small and 182 large, which is better than the Fram, but not quite as good as the EP Auto. During the continuous airflow test, the small particle count reached 697, the same as the Fram, but the large particle count was at 157, which is slightly better than the Fram, but not as good as the EP Auto. The static pressure increased from 3.03 .03 to 4.18. So the EP Auto seems to have outperformed the AC Delco filter. The Pure Later started with a particle count of 114 small and one large particle inside the test box. After spreading the test contamination onto the filter, the small particle number actually went down by 13 and the large particle count stayed the same. Very impressive. After the air pulse, the small particle count went up to 116 and large increased by only 35, which is the best of all the filters yet. During the continuous airflow test, the small particle count increased by 468 and the small particles by 14, which is the best yet. The static pressure increased from 3.09 to 4.48. So the Pure Later 1 is the best filter tested for blocking contamination so far and takes the lead from the EP Auto. Just like the Pure Later, the Wix also saw a small particle count decrease after the contamination was dumped on top of the air filter. It dropped by two small and one large particles. Very impressive. After the air pulse, the particle count increased by by 43 small and 18 large, which is the best of all the filters tested. During the continuous airflow test, the small particle count peaked at 401 and the large particle count did not increase at all. The static pressure increased from 4.07 to 6.63. So the Wix is now in the lead for filtering out the most contamination. Unfortunately, things did not go very well for the K&N filter, which had a small particle count of 3,641 and large particle count of 2,972. After the air pulse, the particle count was at 572 small and 421 large. During the one minute continuous airflow test, the particle count was at 407 and 5. The static pressure increased from 1.72 to 3.79. Since air filters are mainly designed to trap particles around 5 microns or larger, let's compare the large particle filtering performance. Large particles weren't able to get past the Pure Later and Wix filter media when I sprinkled contamination on top of the filters. The AC Delco, which is an OEM filter, did a pretty good job at only 58. The Fram, which claims to offer two times the protection, finished next to last, and the k &M performance filter really struggled. After the tester delivered a sudden burst of air through the filter, the Wix only had 18 particles, the Pure Later 35, and the EP Auto 61. Again, the Fram and the K&M finished in next to last and last, respectively. During the one minute continuous airflow test, the Wix remained at zero, K&M at five, and the Pure Later at 14. The AC Delco and Fram finished in the next to last and last place, respectively. On the surface, it appears that the K&M actually did pretty well on this test. My theory is that the air filter released nearly all of the large particle contamination quickly, allowing it to pass through the air box before the particle counter had a chance to count the particles. 
particles, while the other brands released the contamination gradually. After contaminating the air filters, the EP Auto came out on top with the static pressure of 3.49, the K&M second, and the Fram third. The filters that had the highest original static pressure did the best at blocking out contamination and had a static pressure of 4.48 and 6.63. If it's all about performance and you're heading down to the track for the weekend, the k and filter is definitely going to help with regard to performance. But if you're like me and you really want your vehicle to last a long time, having clean air going into the engine is a huge deal. And I really didn't expect that we would see such a huge difference between the Pure Later one as well as the Wix and the other brands. Those two brands, the Pure Later and the Wix, really outperform the other brands in a huge sort of way, showing why they do cost a little bit more and they're probably well worth the money. All my video ideas, including this one, come from viewers. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment, whether it's regarding other air filter brands you like tested or an entirely new product category. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care. I look forward to next time.